Good morning, student. Welcome once again. Today we will discuss question answer of chapter number one, that is nutrition in plant of class seven. Chapter we had already discussed. Now in this video we will discuss the question answer. We have different categories like MCQ, multiple choice questions, very short, short, and long question answers. So we will start from MCQ. The first question is the life process or processes that involves that provides or provide energy is or are the options are nutrition, respiration, both nutrition and respiration, response to stimuli. So the correct answer is both nutrition and respiration. They, they gives us energy. Question number two, which of these are autotrophs? We all know that. Who are the autotrophs? Plants are the green plants are the autotrophs. So the correct answer is green plants. Question number three, which of these is not necessary for photosynthesis? That correct answer is nitrogen. All the three other options that is carbon dioxide, chlorophyll and light all are necessary for photosynthesis. Question number four, which of these element is needed in addition to carbon, hydrogen and oxygen to make protein. Now we all know that nitrogen is an essential component of protein. So the correct option is nitrogen. Which of the following get absorbed from the atmosphere during photosynthesis? Options are oxygen, water vapor, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. So, during photosynthesis, which gas is absorbed? Carbon dioxide gas is absorbed. Next question, organisms that live in or near the host and obtain the nutrition from the host are called parasites. Partial parasites are green plants, non-green plants, either green or non-green plants, neither green or non-green plants. So, partial parasites, they are green plants. Last question, which of these is a saprophyte? Mushroom. Option, correct answer is mushroom. Now, next, B, very short question answer. You have to give one word answer. Living organisms that cannot make their own food are called heterotrophs. The structure in cell that contain chlorophyll are called chloroplast. What does photo in photosynthesis refer to? Photo means light. Which bacteria in the soil can convert atmospheric nitrogen into water soluble into soluble compounds? I know that you know all the answers but still we will discuss it. That is rhizobium bacteria. Which type of plant is cascuta? Parasitic plant. What do you call a mutual beneficial relationship between two living organisms? That is called symbiosis. Name one organism that gets its food from dead and decaying matter. You have to name one organism that is mushroom. When iodine is added to starch, it becomes dash in color. It becomes its color changed to blue black. What is next question? What is the ultimate source of all the energy needed of our body? Ultimate source of energy is sun. Next question. Saprophytes are green in color. True or false? Saprophytes are non-green. That is false. Some non some green plants are also heterotropic in nature. True or false? So this is very good question. Some, we all know that all the green plants make their own food. So they are autotropic. But some non-green plants like insectivorous plants, they are, they are green but they are insecty. They eat insects for their nitrogen requirement. So they are heterotropic in nature. So this is true. <clears throat> Which cell control the opening and closing of stomata? Guard cell. So this is one word answer. 
Now short question answer. All the question answers uh, are given in your book. If you if you read thoroughly, you you will get all the question answers. What is nutrition? So we have read what is nutrition? The process of taking in food and utilization by the body that is called nutrition. What are stomata? Where are they normally found? Stomata are small pores present on uh, small pores through which plants take carbon dioxide from the air. Two questions are there. Where are they normally found? They are normally found on the underside of the leaves. Question number three. Write down the chemical equation for manufacture of food in green plants. I have told you uh, equation, green photosynthesis equation. That is carbon dioxide plus water in presence of sunlight. Sunlight and chlorophyll. What they make? Glucose. C6, H12, O6 plus O2. Now, here it is uh, not balanced equation. If we will balance this equation, 6CO2, 6H2O plus 6O2. So, this is the chemical equation of photosynthesis that is the answer of question number three short answer next question what factors are essential for photosynthesis to take place the four factors that is carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and sunlight next question how does an insectivorous plant Absorb nutrients from an insect trapped by it. One thing you have to remember students. Whenever you write question answer. First you have to write from question. Whatever answer you are writing. You write it from question. Then complete the answer. How does an insectivorous plant absorb nutrients from an insect trapped by it? So the insectivorous plants. The cells of an insectivorous plant secrete digestive juices to absorb nutrients from an insect trapped by it. Very simple, you have to write not too lengthy answer question, answers. Why is nitrogenous fertilizer not added in soil in which leguminous plants are grown? We have discussed that in the root nodules of leguminous plants, a bacteria called rhizobium is present which convert the atmospheric nitrogen into water soluble compounds which the plants take for their growth. So, nitrogenous fertilizer is not added in soil in which leguminous plants are grown because, now you have to complete your answer, because a bacteria called rhizobium is present in the root nodules of these plants which convert atmospheric nitrogen into water soluble compounds uh, and and the plants will take it how does a saprophyte digest its food so a uh, saprophytes first the saprophytes secrete a digestive juices they just secrete a digestive juices on the dead and decaying matter then this convert the solid matter into liquid and then they absorb the nutrients from this liquid. So in this way, the saprophyte digest is food. So this is all about your short question answer. Now come to long question answer. Question number one, differentiate between autotrophs and heterotrophs, giving two examples of each. So you have to define you have to differentiate. You can write it in paragraph also or you can write in column also. Differentiate between autotrophs and heterotrophs. So what are autotrophs? Organisms which make their own food with the help of non simple non-living substance. They are the autotrophs and they are the green plants. Example you have to give. So example is 
algae and uh, green plants that is the example of autotrophs heterotrophs heterotrophs they are the organisms that directly or indirectly depend on green plants for their nutrition are called uh, heterotrophs example are animals all the, all the animals and human beings question number 2 how will you test a leaf for starch mention any precaution you will take so this answer of this question is in the activity activity 1 in your book activity 1 you have to write the activity 1 what is activity 1 to test a leaf for starch pluck a leaf from a plant which has been exposed to sunlight boil it for about 5 minutes in water to soften it place it in a test tube containing alcohol place the test tube in a beaker of water and warm the water gently until the alcohol begin to boil the alcohol will dissolve the chlorophyll and the leaf will lose its green color now wash this leaf in warm water to remove the alcohol now spread the leaf on flat leaf out flat on a white tile and pour iodine solution on it remove the leaf from the iodine and wash it with water hold it up against the light we will see that the green parts of the leaf becomes blue black these part of leaves have starch in them you can write in your own words also now mention one precaution so what 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 is that precaution when we take the precaution is that do not allow the water in the beaker to boil why because there because there is in the test tube alcohol is there there must be a blast that's why this is the precaution next question how do plants get nitrogen to synthesize protein how the plants get nitrogen so we had already discussed two ways plants get uh, plants can't take nitrogen directly from the atmosphere so uh, two ways it gets nitrogen first through rhizobium bacteria and second through farmers farmers add fertilizers and manures uh that is rich in nitrogen and these are absorbed by the plants next question all animals whether herbivores carnivores or omnivores depend on plants for their food discuss so herbivore carnivore and omnivores all are dependent on plants we have to discuss so we know that herbivores they directly eat the green plants and this uh, uh, herbivores animals directly depend on plants for their food for their nutrition now this herbivores are eaten by carnivores which indirectly depends on plants suppose when we are eating meat we are indirectly depending on food prepared by the plants so this way all the three herbivores carnivores and omnivores are dependent on plants next question explain the following with the help of an example for each now you have to write the definition and then uh, you have to give one one example parasitic nutrition so parasitic what is parasitic nutrition so the mode of nutrition where the organism uh, that live in or on other living organism and derive their uh, derive their food from them are said to have parasitic nutrition like we have discussed <coughs> example is dodo or you you give example bacteria uh, bacteria then uh, is fungi dodo dodo is a plant that sucks food from another plant using root like structure next is symbiosis this is the mode of nutrition where the both the organisms are 
benefited mutual benefit uh, ben uh, benefit uh, benefit to each other example is your lichen in which both algae and fungi algae alga and fungi live together and they both they benefited algae supply uh, uh, supply food to the fungus and fungus supply water and minerals to the cell of alga saprophytic nutrition so the mode of nutrition where the organism live on dead and decaying matter and derive their nutrition their food from them they are said to be saprophytic nutrition like bacteria and fungi next why are manures and fertilizers added to the soil in a farm so plants get all the nutrients plant gets mostly all the nutrients from the soil therefore the amount of nutrient in the soil goes on decreasing to fulfill this the manures and fertilizers are added to the soil in a farm and the last question is distinguish between parasite and partial parasite in plants giving one example of each again you have to write uh, what are parasites what are partial parasite and one one example of each parasite again parasite we will write the same thing parasite that live in or on other living organism and derive their food from them are said to have uh, said to parasites example same dodo that uh, that use their root like structure to absorb um, their nutrition from another plant partial parasite now partial parasite they are green partial parasite they are green plants which prepare their food but they are dependent for water and minerals for their host plant like mistletoe which is which grows on the trees or uh, uh, trees such as mango or mahua <clears throat> so this is all about your question answer of chapter 1 that is nutrition in plants so write it correctly in your notebook and after completing uh, all the question after writing one uh, completing first question just draw the margin then start the next question write it clearly beautifully with good handwriting Stay at homes and safe. Thank you.